Hi, I'm Ross Callaghan, and I've just finished making another model ship. This one is uh, HMS President, and it's a model by uh, the Sergal family of Mantua. Haven't made one by that company before, but um, the kit comes just like this in a box. And I must say, it's a really, really high quality kit. And the model that I've produced from it is really, really fantastic. Thrilled with it. In the kit you get a uh, instruction booklet, which is pretty well useless. Just has uh, two pages, really, in English. And basically says the steps to follow. And that's because there's an extremely comprehensive um, set of plans for that show you how to make the model and I must say they have, they have proved to be really excellent. Many of the uh, kits that you buy have pretty useless plans but I, I must say these ones enabled me to make the model really quite straight in a, in a straightforward way quite easily. So well done Mantua. So now I thought I'd take you through the steps that were involved in making this model. Um, quite complicated, a lot of fine work involved and um, you have to really concentrate. I found it quite hard on the eyes at times but the end result is certainly worth it. So starting with the, uh, the kit, it's all laser cut and um, uh, it starts with a plywood keel and frame and then uh, decks, they went on next and then it started the process of planking up for the sides. I use my own system for, for planking to um, try and get the curves right. I use a soldering iron and you can see that happening here, bending on the uh, inside with the heat of the soldering iron because the front of the model is quite quite rounded therefore hard to get all of the uh, planks on easily. A lot of patience involved in getting the planking done and um, it gradually built up the shape of the model. This is a double planking system so once the first round of planks were on um, I then had to put on a, 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 another veneer of mahogany type of planks, particularly around the bottom which was to be stained, the top of which is to be painted, so I used a filler on that to get it all nice and smooth. I believe in pre-painting these models so that um, you, you're sticking bits on to what is already painted, not trying to paint after things have been stuck on it. For the stain I use um, this is an epiglass mahogany filler and stain that gives a nice colour to the to the timber. Then afterwards once everything's done this is the first time I've used it but this I used um, Cabot's Danish oil rather than using varnish as they recommend. And oh, I'm so glad I did. This is a lovely product, so incredibly easy to work with, and it just makes the, the timber glow. It looks really, really lovely. So that was a real good find and a real tip for model makers. Um, Danish oil, use that rather than um, varnish. So at this stage, um, the basics of the hull were ready, and I started to make all the different parts that get attached to the hull. Uh, decorations and on this particular model they really are lovely lots of um, gold colored uh, things there you can see looks really really nice so finally the hull was was complete and I had to start then to build the masts and the uh, rigging I uh, I like doing rigging it's it's very satisfying when it all comes together now made quite a bit of progress with the fixed or standing rigging. So the uh, rigging for the bowsprit and for the foremast is now in place. 
To hold uh, each in place, there are lines that come upwards and downwards, left and right, and they're all pulling against each other so that the uh, particular spar is held in place. For the foremast here, you've got the shrouds that um, hold it to the left and to the right, and there are quite a few lines that uh, pull backwards and forwards as well. Very, very tricky. Um, threading these things through, getting them tight, getting them um, looking nice, then putting the rat lines on which the sailors use to climb up to uh, service the sails. So at this stage all of the fixed rigging is in place and I'm now ready to start the, the running rigging. So I created all the spars for the sails. This particular model um, the kit is, like many Mantua ones, doesn't have any sails, but I decided, well, I'm going to put some sails on. So uh, I made all the spars and then I uh, created a, a correctly sized sail and attached it to it, but did it furled. And I think that the end result there with doing it that way has come out really, really nice. And so the... Uh, HMS President model is now complete and I think that the, uh, the hull of the model looks really really good and also the way that I've rigged it looks really really good too. The timber just glows, I love the uh, different decorations that go on there, the whole uh, rigging is functional just a very, very nice model. In fact, I'd say this is one of the uh, best that I've ever made. So there you are, building the HMS President uh, by Sergal Mantua. I reckon it's a fantastic model and uh, I really would recommend that anybody who's into shipmaking, model shipmaking, has a go at one of these ones. Really fantastic.